it's that time again. So we have our three and a quarter, sorry, three and a half Sata Bay. And this is good for, uh, well, two and a quarter, two and a half, two, uh, three and a half Sata hard drives. Nice. So before, instructions, put that in the instruction pile. Looks pretty good. This has got a bit hardware. And SATA cables. Nice. Very nice. Alright, we'll get to that in a second. Put that with the rest of the stuff. It's also made out of metal. Very nice. Looks good. There we go, that's the opening. So let's take a look at this beast. So this is the right side up. They're kind of slow. Oh, I see. Oh, that one's really slow. see. Easy, easy. Okay. Very nice. Locks into place. You've got your power on the back. Your temperature gauge, your temperature gauge there, or your temperature, uh, what do you call it? Jumper, three SATA ports, two power ports. Not entirely sure what this is yet. It looks good. It's all, again, this is all metal. Your hard drive just sits in there, which the first hard drive would be, as you guys have probably already guessed, the SATA of yesterday. Sweet. All right. <laughs> So this installs a little bit different. It's actually easier. So you put it in and it basically lines itself up and you click it like that. You want to take it out, see how it pulls out? There it is. So it's got like a bit of a, a gearing mechanism that brings it in. So that's what it looks like without. Done. That's your hot swap. Definitely feels better than the uh, one of yesterday for the two and a, two and a halfs. The three and a halfs is nice. And this also works with the two and a halfs as well. But I got this specifically for the three and a halfs being the fat drives. Now to install it. So now we are looking over at the computer. Flip these up. There we go. That's clear. And I'm gonna slide this thing in. There we go. She's in. That looks pretty good. It'll look more like this when it's fixed. But that's what it looks like right now, which is cool. So now we just kind of drop these into place and that's it for today. You got your, all your indicator lights as per normal with both drives. Beautiful. So yes, I went and read the instructions. And if you see here, that cable 
goes to the back of the, uh, the bay and hooks into the F1, F2, F3, NC and then goes into the motherboard or sorry, RAID controller, which I don't have. So this, this cable is not needed for my setup, but if I ever want to hook in those hard drives into a RAID controller in the future, which being as you can plug in uh, a two and a half drive and all SATA drives are a two and a half, that would be very beneficial, again, in the future. So this cable will be kept inside the case. Thanks for watching, guys.